Hello, 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 and thank you so much for joining me. This is Mrs. M. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below so you can subscribe. That way you'll receive all the information on how to build your six-figure cleaning business. So today, I am going to answer a question that I actually get often, and that is, what would I do right now if I were starting with absolutely zero money, zero contacts, and maybe let's go once again with the budget of just a couple of dollars. So if I were starting with just maybe a couple of dollars, say about a hundred dollars, and I am working a full-time job, let's go with I'm working a full-time job and I have a hundred dollars, this is a this is after I've already registered the business. So you definitely have to have what it takes to register the business, depending on the state. You usually have to do like an LLC or something. If you did not have the money for an LLC, I would not, I repeat, not recommend doing a sole proprietorship. That is an absolute no-no. So at the very least, you need to save some money to get your LLC registered with your state or S Corp or C Corp, but it needs to be something other than under your own personal name. Now, once I already had that, and how would I say for that? I would look at selling something I already had. So if I didn't have any money at all and I had to start with getting the money to register the business, I would look in my closet, I do offer up, look and see what I had in my home and I'd be willing to make that sacrifice to sell something on offer up or the other types of, of apps that you can use in order to get the money to register with my state. Now, once I did that and let's say I only had a hundred dollars to get started, that's it. After I've registered, I only have a hundred dollars. So what I need to do is get money in to then be able to advertise, put up a website, so then what I would do is I would go to WordPress or some type of, uh, I would say like a website to host for free. Now, normally in order to do that, you're going to have to have like WordPress slash with your company name in there. But if you cannot afford to host it, then build a WordPress from scratch for free. And then that way you can then have a website. So now you have your website for free and it doesn't have to be hosted. You can get business cards for free as well. But if you can't, you can get some business cards for like $10. There's lots of places you can print business cards for $10. So now you have your website and your business cards printed for like $10. How would I advertise? I would then go on Google or Yellow Pages, make a list of companies. I would then actually ride around in my neighborhood where I wanted to get these contracts and see what is actually open. Get out there. Get from behind your computer. If you, if you really, really need to do this quickly, time is of the essence. So get from behind your computer, get in your vehicle or walk around if you do not have a car and make sure that you start to notice what is available in your area because of covert. There are a lot of things that may not be open, but it depends on the phase of your state. So I would look for grocery stores, daycares, law offices, chiropractor offices. Those are the things that are normally going to be open. Entertainment, not so much like bowling alleys and all that. Car dealerships will be. Car places that repair cars will be. Those are the first things I would look at looking to see if they are open. If they are, then you've got several choices. You can contact them via the phone and do what I like to talk about is the survey. If you have your script right, you can actually survey them to get the information you need before you sell to them. That's one way, over the phone. The next way, I wouldn't recommend in person, especially right now with the covert, but I would look at getting their information, which means I would go on Google or I drive by and then I would make sure I have their address. And I would then start to market them via mail. I would get small postcards 
For under $100, I would look at doing some paper. You can go and go to uh, Staples and get a, a notebook, you know, one of those pads of white paper. And you can print some out on your computer, okay? You can go to Amazon and actually get ink refilled. So it's not, you know, for like five or six dollars. So I'm giving you the absolute bare minimum if you have zero money to get started, okay? You definitely are going to have to have some to register your company. Then I went in, how are you going to make sure you market to them? So once you get the flyers, you're gonna submit those and you're going to send those out with their address and you're going to write something very catchy and there is a mail out script that you could use in order to catch their attention and have them respond to your mail out. Now the most important thing is make sure you have some way like a Gmail address where they email you back or a phone number so you know how well this is working. You have to be able to measure what you are doing or you won't know whether it's working or not. Once again, this is a system. No matter what you're doing, you wanna put it in a systematic form. So telephone calls, you're calling, you have a way that you're getting their attention via survey, not selling to them. If you're doing in person, you're going to get the information before you go in there, not selling to them. If you're going to mail out, you're going to mail out, get the information and mail it out. And it's going to be on a format that looks like you are giving them something before you getting it. That is basically when you're once again, which I call the golden ticket. They've won this golden ticket. And if it's set up right, they will feel like they're getting a prize. And this allows you to do what? Go do a walkthrough. So this is all about winning the golden ticket. This is the way we instruct our clients our students on what to do when they're doing the telephone, which is a survey, the in-person, there would be a way you would go in and you would have it where it's a warm lead. All of these are gonna to lead to warm leads. If you're doing mail outs, it's called the golden ticket. This is the way you do it where you actually are getting information from them and they're ready to invite you in based on what you put in that particular letter. And I call it the golden ticket opportunity when you're doing your mail outs. It could be a postcard you're mailing or it could be something that you type up on your computer, print it out, but it needs to be a range, which I call the golden ticket opportunity for the potential customer. And the last one is the ding, 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 email. Those are my favorite. If you put a lead magnet out there right on your free website that I just talked about, which you can do through WordPress, you will then have them come to you. Also, it depends on what keywords you put into your website but you will have them come to you. You have to fill out something for a lead magnet to get them to give you their email address. And once you have the email address, it, it's, it's almost a wrap because you can start building a relationship with them. And before you know it, they're inviting you over to give them a proposal. So if I had no money and I had to start from scratch, this is exactly what I would do. Now, if I, the other step I would take is to run a Facebook ad. If I had no money except for $100, I didn't know anyone, and I just went the other four ways, if I were going to pay for advertising, I would go on to Facebook, set a $5 a day, filter down my area, look at who I'm looking at filtering, and I would make sure my ads went directly to that group of party, whether it be property managers, if you're doing move out, move ins, do real estate. If you're looking for daycare, send your ads to daycare owners. So with Facebook, you can narrow down who you want to market to. So this is what I would do right now in today's day if I had no money, didn't know anyone, and let's say I was in a brand new city. This is exactly what I would do. So I always like to say this, what would you do if you had this? So if you want more information on going into the golden ticket, and a, more information on what to say on your phone script, then make sure you actually subscribe to the masterclass. I have a six-figure cleaning business blueprint masterclass. Make sure you register below in the masterclass. We really go into more detail than I am able to go into on this video. So if this sounds like something, if you're, if you're struggling or you are ready to level up, or you want to know what would you do during COVID? 
make sure you register. Space is limited. It is live. We get it in. I like to make sure we have the energy. So we have individuals that are telling us where they're from and how long they've been in business. And I promise you, we do not get off until all the answers of your questions have been done. So we normally are on there for about an hour, 15 minutes, depending on how many individuals we have and how many questions. But it's really, really fun. And I would love to invite you to the Six Figure Cleaning Business Blueprint Masterclass. Register below. And until then, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.